Bill Bidler here with AmericanKitePouring.com. We're kind of on a safety kick right now. Um, what this is, is a, it's a hook knife by Gerber. And it's the best hook knife for kiteboarding, I believe. Um, what happened is the new ride engines um, don't come with hook knives installed. So I set out to find one that um, would work on it. And in the process, I decided to just find the best hook knife um, for kiteboarding. This is it. Um, so what you have here is a normal hook knife, but it's all rigid. It's all one piece of metal with a really nice rubber grip and then a glass breaker on the side. And it comes in a rigid, like a tactical plastic case. So this is going to fit in here, slide in, and it actually holds really well. If I'm grabbing it with my right hand, say it's on my vest here, I'm going to have it facing this way. I pull it out. Your, your finger's in the middle, and it's actually ready for use right there. It's going to grab anything and cut it, right? It's perfect, that angle. Um, let's say you're left-handed. You just flip it around, put it back in, mount it on this side. There it goes. Maybe you have two of them, right? Double action. What? You're just cutting lines everywhere. Um, no, seriously, the reason I like this one over some of the other ones is, one, it's all one piece of metal. It's not two little tiny razor blades in there, you know, that rust and go bad and everything else. It has a huge opening. You can get seatbelts in there. You'll cut seatbelts, spectra line, the belts on uh, harnesses. Who knows? I mean, you, you'll cut through anything, right? Plastic, rubber, the whole thing. Um, the best part is when you pull this out, you're ready for action. Um, so look, this is a typical hook knife. This is the Dekine. They've been selling this for years, which is great. Um, you know, we've sold this for years. It's a good, inexpensive knife. The problem is when you use these things, it's not at a tea party. It's usually when the stuff's hitting the fan and you need to cut some lines, like you're getting drug on the beach, maybe you're underwater, whatever it is. Um, when I pull this out, say it's hooked to my vest just like the other one, I'm gonna pull this out using the um, loop here, either put my finger through it, probably not though, in an emergency I'll just grab it. Pull it out, and this is what I get, right here. I get this floppy thing that's maybe not even, you know, correctly up. Okay, so I get it flipped around, and then I'm going, right? Look at that angle. See how my knuckle's in the way? So I go to hit something, you know, maybe it gets in there, maybe it doesn't. It's a really thin piece. Those are those two little razor blades I was talking about that eventually rust. It, you know, functionally it works here in the shop and it'll work, you know, on the beach or whatever. In an emergency, there's a good chance you're going to pull it out and probably lose it, right? Um, and that's my biggest complaint about this is the functionality of pulling it out. Um, the Gerber sol solves that with the solid piece and the uh, modular tactical mount. Okay, so let's talk about mounts for a little bit. We already talked, it's, it's ambidextrous, uh, ambidextrous. You can use it on both sides, here, here. You just flip it around in the, in the scupper. There's two mounts that come with it. One is a clip, it's called a belt clip, but it won't feel, fit on a belt. It's made for small webbing. Um, this clips into the link here, boop. And then this clip will fit on any of the uh, webbing pieces on your harness. It's probably a little too small for the uh, like the ion webbing, the real thick ones. Um, in that case, you'd want to use this piece. This is this one's my favorite mount. What this is is uh, a plastic um, piece of plastic that folds back on itself like this. Actually, put it in there wrong. Um, like this goes back through like this, and this allows you to hook it to um, your vest on a loop. You can hook it to your harness here. You can hook it hanging like this. However you want to do it, just make sure it's correctly rigged for, for how you're going to grab it. I'm right-handed, so no matter how I do it, it's going to be like this, you know, so I can get in there and, and pull that baby out with my right hand um, and everything else. So lots of options, really badass knife. Um, they're not cheap. They're like 20, I think they're $28 on our website. Um, but we're going to have these in stock. Truly believe this is the best one. Um, they're awesome. It's a, it's a big chunk of metal, right? So relatively low-priced safety item could be one of the most important if you need a hook knife, right? You either have one or you don't. Um, so keep it in mind. I don't think anybody else has really had them out there yet. Um, that's it. Phil with Houston Kiteboard, and we'll see you guys out in the water.